Growing up, we went to school in informal settlements and one of the major reasons why we went to school was because of the food we eat in school. And so when uh, our schools could not afford uh, fuel, we, growing up, we realized that that was a big problem and we started this initiative to be able to fill that gap, to be able to create a, an affordable source of energy that will keep other children like us in school. My name is Calvin Shikuku. I am the co-founder and CEO of Motobricks, which is a social enterprise that uh, engages in producing renewable energy for households whose problem is high cost of fuel. We were born and brought up in Madare slums. And so some of the challenges that we faced are things that could easily be solved by people taking up certain initiatives within the community or doing some programs within the community. My name is Edwin. Uh, I've been working with uh, Motobricks for quite some time as uh, a co-founder and uh, COO, trying to look at operations, trying to look at how do our productions run, but again, how do all the initiatives that we have developed around Motobricks support the social enterprise to grow. The moment where we knew we have to start this was in 2020 when COVID-19 happened, happened and there were lockdowns in Nairobi and different parts of the country. And people in Madare were so desperate because due to the lockdown, uh, people who work here, who are casual laborers, could not even go across the road to go and earn a living. So we were forced to come up with an idea and implement it to be able to provide that alternative source of energy, to be able to help those who could not afford the alternatives out there. There are many challenges when you are starting a business and one major one for us was the idea and also the environment where we are trying to implement the idea. So these are young people, we have different skills, but we do not know how to run a business, how to keep records and all that. And that is why through partnerships like the AIC, we were able to overcome that. Our social enterprise really depends on community embracing the product and buying the product because we have a market that we are serving and that is the slum community. A lot of things don't really resonate with this community because for them it's how do I get a meal on the table at the end of the day. So if you start telling them about climate change and that's why you're getting into renew renewable energy, it really doesn't, doesn't work. And so when we came to do this within this community, we had to figure out a way in which we could sell ourselves and, and get to reach more people and spread this information that, hey, I know this doesn't matter, but it is part of a bigger uh, uh, ambition that the globe is, 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 is facing and so we need to be part of it. The moment that changed the game for me as a founder was uh, bringing other young people on board. I think that has really worked uh, to our advantage because the areas where I, 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 I lacked certain skills, somebody else said. And uh, that kept us running for a very long time because we had this um, great source of labor, great source of skills and pool that we can bring together to to be able to achieve our dreams. And so that for me, when I look back, I think that really helped uh, Motobricks and by extension, all these initiatives that we are running. Hello, my name is June. I'm a part of the team working with Motobricks Innovation Center and Motobricks Social Enterprise. Uh, basically, I help in running the programs and looking at how the programs that you are doing are inclusive. Uh, talking about inclusive, meaning they are friendly to both women and girls in the community and making sure that girls are not left out in all the programs that we come up with. 
10 years from now, I'll love to see a lot of women initiative because looking at the graph of different climate smart initiatives that are there, most of them are male-led and male-dominated. So women are not quite in the space of tech and STEM generally and coming up with different initiatives. So through my work with uh, Motobricks, I'm looking forward to having a lot of women-led climate smart initiatives so that also women can be in the spaces of providing solutions to the community and what is affecting them. Mutani, like Vijana, most of the, most of the most of the youth around are quite unemployed. Now, I will employ because the RTO is only that I part of your idea. What do you bring to leverage your baby as a cam? I love for to your same sitting as a fanya one to three. So, you know, a your platform on a cam, on a same cam as a fanya as a fanya he na he on a patio platform on a jarifu exercise. So, you know, maybe in 10 years from now, what do you bring to your since I joined Motobricks, I uh, have a document because uh, being I'm from Madari, I have a task to So I've been trying to tell the stories in a different way because uh, I have a to feel uh, the community through these stories. In 10 years' time, Motorbooks is a production company yake, whereby now uh, we are going to see the community, uh, other NGOs from the community, to tell stories as well. Na pena kuna fanya, akuna tuni na litanga ile feeling poa kama kuna kazi ni mfanya ina create impact kubwa sana mtaya ko ukitembea ukitembea mta. Utapatana na ome, utapatana na ome bebana na majuala, ome bavitabu kwa majuala. E, utapatana nina ome bavitabu kwa mkona literally, na ni mobu. Kila siku unapatana na ome toto hapu nji. Asa, unaijenga kwa jili, kila siku tuku unapatana na ome na watakuwa wata a constant reminder that wanazingoja. Ke, mina kwa gala kutifla ni muse manga, you are a star, and if you are a star, make sure that you are shining a light everyone surrounding you. Uh, what stood out to me um, in my journey with the AIC was the fact that there was a lot of information that I, I gained from that. And uh, when I look back, the learning curve has always been steep for entrepreneurs. But with the AIC, we got the information in doses and that information really helped us frame our idea. When you look at me speak like this, when we joined the IC, <laughs> we could not even express ourselves, right? But going through the program, I think it gave me everything I needed in terms of understanding what um, a startup looks like, what solving a problem looks like and how to go about it, how to think about funding, how to like frame an idea from start to finish. The legacy I hope to, to live uh, through our initiative is um, be able to as well decentralize specifically renewable energy in Kenya. And we've done that through helping other uh, young people, other groups implement that idea from start to finish. And so for us, we have as well reduced ourselves to be able to offer uh, support to other people. And that's how we, we grow. So we are looking at the possibility of becoming a leading uh, energy research center, especially for informal settlements, because we, we've understood the ecosystem and we've been working and we, are, we continue working to also launch other products. And I think that is something that we will be proud of 10 years from now, if we make an impact in terms of the go-to people when you need to implement energy pro projects in informal settlements, and when you need to come up with uh, social businesses that can thrive and really answer to the needs of uh, customers.